as I know him. I have known him for the past 50 years. And have from our youthful days till now admired his gentility, intelligence, wisdom, modesty, and honesty. He was loved by many, and he equally showed love to as many as he should show love to. No wonder, ladies and gentlemen, this wise man, calm, modest, and a firm gentleman rose up to serve this country in different capacities. From being a member of parliament to deputy minister to cabinet minister, vice president, and president. His performance as the president gave him the accolade of a nation builder. President Mama is a proven nation builder whose creativity is not based on rhetoric like we hear from others, but on a sense of agency and commitment. President Mama is very clear about how to rescue, resuscitate, and rebuild Ghana from the rubble created by the Akufuado Bamiya led MPP government. He is a competent builder with a strong sense of agency and direction. Having been there before, he knows how to recreate a workable Ghana that brings not just how, but value to the people. Ladies and gentlemen, looking at the current economic and social situations in our country today, it is very evident that President Mama has what it takes to strive to make Ghanaians regain their sense of pride and self-esteem. It's very interesting when we are told to go and beg others to reorganize our debt. Well, as it, at the same time, we are not prepared to reduce our expenditure. I don't think anybody can tell this to President John Dramani Mama. <laughs> His Excellency John Mama is unafraid to confront the mess created by the Akufuado Babian government. And it's more than ever before. And with collective efforts, determined to take over the reins of power and reverse the trend, rebuild, and restore Ghana to pride and self-esteem. We all stand with him, and we are committed to be with him when he takes our power come 2025. For the, past, for the past six years, the good people of this country have yearned and continue to yearn for the return of the NDC. Having seen a clear difference between what we did and what the current government is doing. 
comrades, they are not just asking for the NDC to come back to power. But the return of experience, the return of experience in this game as we stand today, experience is the key word, and experience counts. The next leader of our country will not be a trial error leader, but one tried and tested. Someone who has supervised a lot of ministers, including finance ministers. President Mama has supervised defense ministers, interior ministers, trade ministers, and finance ministers. blessed as a party and as a country to have such a person in the NDC today, an affable, good listener, and a unifier. And we are blessed again in our party to have such a person as our candidate, your candidate, my candidate, and the people's candidate. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, President Mama's campaign team assures all of us, our competitors, the whole nation, of a very disciplined campaign. A campaign that will not throw away love and friendship. A campaign that will ensure that every NDC member gets involved when we have won and the need to wrestle power from this unperforming government. So after May 13th, we shall all be involved in the campaign work of His Excellency President John Mahama. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in a short while, you will be listening, listening to a leader who is not only visionary, who is not only an experienced leader, who is not only a proactive leader, but a nation builder who is also very modest, affable, good listener, and a unifier. Ladies and gentlemen, he is my candidate. He's your candidate. He's our candidate. And he's the people's candidate. He is His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. I thank all of you. God bless you.